Have you guys ever wanted to play Fortnite on mobile with 90 FPS? Well now you actually in fact can. Not only just that though guys, we've also got more information about the Cyclone guy, how he's gonna actually become a skin, and also how the engineer is in fact enemies with Midas. Yo guys, what is going on? A bubbles hit. Yes, that's right. We've got another video today bringing you guys all of the latest Fortnite news leaks and updates. Today I've also got a couple of theories here and there which honestly seem pretty accurate towards the whole live event, the Doomsday event that's happening in two days now, guys. I'm so excited. If you guys are excited for this live event, smash the thumbs up. Make sure you obviously subscribe to me here on the channel to never miss out on anything Fortnite news leaks and updates related. I also stream every day, 7 p.m. British time, as well as obviously going to be streaming that live event on Saturday, which I'm so excited for. Finally, guys, if you do indeed want to help support someone in the Fortnite item shop and you're not using anyone and you want to maybe support your gal, it is indeed code bubbles hashtag ad hashtag epic pun i thank you all in advance let's get cracking though guys straight in with the news today so first of all ninja has come out and announced a big four hundred thousand dollar tournament that he is indeed going to be hosting now this unfortunately for people like me is actually invitational only which kind of sucks it's a lot of money to give back to basically already rich people but it is what it is i mean it's for the pros and all of the kind of streamers and that kind of thing so it makes sense but yeah he is hosting this tournament i hope the money goes to charity but it's not yet specified i would like to say it was but i don't think it is and basically all of the top players and the sh top streamers are all going to be coming together in this tournament it's over the course of around four different days so pretty cool i think it's something like eighty thousand per day and then a big final or something like that uh but yeah definitely something to look forward to and i'll obviously let you guys know when obviously the actual dates are when they're coming a bit closer to the time like what's going to be happening who's winning all of that kind of stuff next up though guys let's talk about the one and only 90 fps on mobile now i actually saw ali a tweet this out and i was blown away Bear in mind, I play capped on 60 FPS and I'm on PC and someone on mobile is going to have more FPS than me. Pretty crazy and mobile is definitely going to be coming up strong against console players. And it, what's crazy is that against people like me who's on PC, you know, with that aim assist that you got on a mobile with 90 FPS, it's becoming lethal, lads. Don't get me wrong, obviously mobile definitely needs something like this because mobile is incredibly, insanely difficult to play on. But this is amazing. This is I'm really happy for this news. And um, basically what it is is the new OnePlus phone. It's literally come out that it's got 90 FPS now with Fortnite, which is the first phone. I do think this is going to get quite a lot of sales. If they had more like a tablet with this, it would be insane. And I do think it would get a lot of sales. So definitely they need to start looking into that. But um, yeah, pretty cool. The first mobile to play Fortnite on 90 FPS decent. So let's start now into the actual juicy stuff, into the whole event sort of stuff, since it is only a couple of days now, I know you guys are going to want to know about it. Now, there is a lot of encrypted files in the game. Those encrypted files are mainly all for the actual Doomsday event. I'm not going to be leaking those because I don't believe that you should leak the event. You know, we've had so much time to get stuff and look forward to this event that leaking it is just pointless and I don't agree with it in the slightest. So just so you know that, this is all stuff that's non-encrypted. So it's kind of just fun stuff, little, little spoilers, nothing too serious at all because, yeah, I don't want to see it. You know, I want to see it and witness it and experience it on the day but what have we got first of all the countdown should actually appear friday night 26 hours before the event that's apparently what's going to be happening pretty happy for that the countdown by the way i actually mean over the agency because we obviously have the countdown at the moment in the lobby and in the midas room so that's pretty cool the agency is definitely looking like it's going to be the area where the event is going to be taking place since obviously this countdown is going to be there normally the countdowns are always over the area of the map which obviously is where the event's going to be taking place place we had it over the volcano that time we also had it for the Travis Scott events that kind of thing so next up we obviously know that there is obviously the cyclo skin he got leaked this is what he looks like absolutely insane 
I've also said in one of my past videos how I believe that Midas is the one that's made the skin, again looking like it's correct because of this loading screen, and I've also said that I feel like he's made this to somehow control the storm by getting the energy from the storm, sucking it in, which is why we've got the clouds around the agency, and he's using that energy to power this doomsday device. Again, it's kind of all adds up to be this kind of way. I said that as the days go on, things are proving that point to be more accurate, such as because of now the actual storm circles are all over the place. Is that because Midas is doing something wrong? Is he planning something? Is he literally just controlling it and doing it how he wants to with the Cyclo skin? That's what I think is happening at the moment. And apparently the Cyclo skin is definitely going to be an item shop skin because of the way he's actually formatted in the actual files of the game. Now, I'm actually happy with this because I think it's an incredible looking skin. Really, really, really super cool. And I do agree. I think Fire Monkey tweeted this out saying that he believes that it's going to be um, coming straight to the item shop after the event. So there'll be some sort of item shop reset straight after the event and he will be in it. I agree with this. I think that that will happen and I hope it happens. That's for sure. Especially with all of the hype after the event, people are going to see it and want to buy it straight away. So it would be kind of smart if they did do this, but definitely keep your eyes peeled. Definitely have your V-Bucks saved up because it's looking like this guy is going to be in the item shop. Now I do want to talk about the actual engineer girl and Midas, but first, before I do that, I do actually have a sound file here from Fort Tory and it's kind of got a lot of the sounds in it that are going to be played during this doomsday event pretty damn cool here's a timestamp um for the future if you don't want to hear them so you can skip the video but if not take a listen because i heard it and honestly it sounds dope So yeah, as you could hear there, guys, there was a lot of noises going on. Again, I'm not going to say you guys heard it in case people have skipped and they don't want to know what was in it. But definitely crazy and definitely can't wait to hear this and actually see what's going on while these sounds are playing in the event on Saturday. But let's talk about now Midas and the Engineer. What do we already know? We know that the Engineer has something connected to Midas since he has got her photos up around his room. Now, there was always kind of theory that where her codename was the engineer she somehow has created something and what I believed it was going to be was this cyclo skin the cyclo uh, outfit for Midas now there is something that I want to point out now Stephen on Twitter actually tweeted me it and he said this and I was honestly kind of blown away I was shook by it he basically said how the engine skin is actually supporting team shadow we know obviously because of the logo on her top however Midas is obviously at the agency and he's obviously supporting team ghost so they're on two different teams both sides there's going to be some sort of battle now is something going to go wrong that makes them be on different sides? Has something already happened? Is it something like Romeo and Juliet where they're two diverse different worlds and they're coming together? I don't know. That would be pretty cool though to see Team Ghost and Team Shadow come together to somehow battle a bigger boss. Maybe Oro or something like that. That would be pretty cool. I would like to see something happen though. Something like that. Something to do with water. Something to do with electric something to do with anything elemental sounds pretty dope to me and I'm really super excited for this event if you couldn't tell but guys that is indeed going to be it for today I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this little video if you did make sure you do indeed smash that thumbs up button obviously make sure you subscribe to me here on the channel to stay up to date with all the latest Fortnite news leaks and updates the event is gonna be litty guys like I said earlier I'm gonna be streaming it so if you do indeed want to sit and witness it with me tune in on my stream on Saturday I'm gonna start about 30 minutes to an hour before the event so about 6 p.m. Um, or whatever time that is for you guys. But guys, I hope you have indeed enjoyed Credit Card Bubbles in the Fortnite item shop. Thank you all for your incredible support lately on it. It's blowing my mind. That's like ad. Yeah, that's it though, guys. Thank you all for watching and I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Stay safe and until next time, guys, see ya.